What up, bro? Welcome back to Ill Reviews, man. This is another special edition of Top 10 Greatest Songs, man. Um, I first had the idea to do a video for this probably about three years ago. Um, but I didn't want to do it until I knew X was dropping his last album. It had been rumblings. If you paid attention, uh, it had been rumblings that DMX was going to come back, um, make a, another album, and then he would get in trouble, and then he would get clean, and then they start talking another album, another album. And it's never, it's never was happening. So I was like, well, I can't do the top 10 greatest hits yet because this next album might have something on there. So I, I never got to do it. And then, as you know, you know what I'm saying, um, DMX did pass away last year in 2021. Um, and shortly after that, uh, his album, Exodus, his final album, was released. So I was like, well, now it's time for me to go ahead and pay my respects, uh, give my tribute. Um, the first rap album I ever heard in my life, literally the very first rap album I ever heard, was it's dark and hell is hot. I grew up in a sheltered family, you feel me, where it was like, you can't listen to that rap mess, you know what I'm saying? And um, I actually was 18, you know what I'm saying? 17 or 18, somebody at school snuck it to me, you feel me? And I snuck and listened to it, and that was the very first album I heard. And um, it, it really was like a big influence of my life. Um, I talk about it in my book. Um, and then actually I ended up meeting DMX, um, I think when I was 19, downtown Indianapolis, uh, Indiana, um, by then I had started rapping myself. Um, he was cool, we took a picture, he let me rap for him. He told me my shit was fire. I don't know if he is lying or not, but uh, he has been he was a big influence on my life, you know what I'm saying? Um, and I just fell in love with the album, It's Dark and Hell It's Hot. So I was like, well, here's my chance, like I said, do my tribute. So uh, here's my top 10 DMX songs of all time. Um, I would say in no particular order, Except number one. Number one is actually my favorite DMX song of all time. So yeah, let's get into it, man. Top 10 greatest DMX songs of all time. Let's get it. Yeah, that's right. I have to give number 10 to look through my eyes, man. Um, it's off the Dark and Hell is Hot album. His first album is produced by Dame Grease. Um, I like this song because it really just brings you into the X world. You know what I'm saying? That dark place. And a lot of people have been in that dark place. And if you've been in that dark place, you kind of feel like where you at. I love how this album incorporates sound effects. Like at the beginning of that song, you hear the dog whimpering. You feel me? Like it's a, it's like a movie. You know what I'm saying? And it's just gritty and it's grimy and it's raw. You feel me? That's why I like it. Song number 10, I had to give it to Look Through My Eyes. That's my joint. Uh. Man, y'all remember when this song came out, how hot it was, you feel me? I remember little chicks around me getting hyped because he mentioned their name. You never even heard nobody just rhyme people's name that long, you feel me? He threw Cisco on the hook, Cisco killed it, you feel me? Six, Cisco going so hard, you know if you was in the studio, you gonna see Cisco's veins in his neck, you know what I'm saying? He's singing from his chest, you feel me? That song was just... It was just the greatest, you feel me? And it was produced by Nokio, you feel me? I did my research and found that out. But yeah, song number nine, I think I gotta give it to what you want, you feel me? That's the clean way they said it, you know what I'm saying? But we know what the song is really, really called. Uh. Yo, y'all know I was going to put that on the list. Y'all know I had to throw that party up on there, you feel me? The energy on that track is bananas. And they still playing it to this, to this day, you feel me? Like I say, you can tell a song is, is just that song, you feel me? It's crazy. While I was writing the notes to do this video, probably like 30 minutes ago, 
they actually played Party Up on the radio. You feel me? And of course, I'm down here in Atlanta. I was shocked. I was like, man, that's a crazy coincidence. But yeah, that was produced by uh, Swiss Beats, of course. Um, Party Up is off the, uh, and then there was X album. So yeah, song number eight, Party Up, for sure. The King's back, 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 yeah. back, 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 Yo, he said with the last of my breath, I beat your ass to death. Yo, I don't know, man. That song almost brings uh, tears to my eyes, man, because that was out for Exodus, his final album. Um, of course, it's produced by uh, Swiss Beats, featuring Alicia Keys on the hook. Um, I just love that song, man. It's main, the main song, like after he passed away, the main song I was, I was just playing it. I probably played it like 30 times, you feel me? Uh, that's like a special song to me, and I had to throw it on this list. Hold me down, you feel me? Off Exodus. That's got to be one of the greatest of all time. <laughs> Yo, that whole track is like a movie, man. That's ATF off of Dark and Hell is Hot, produced by Dame Grease. Did you hear the sound effects in that? You feel me? Did you hear the, the way he was describing the situation? It make you feel like you really get chased by the police. You feel me? That's like a movie. And motherfuckers be wondering why I don't be getting impressed a lot by these, a lot of these new rap albums. I'm like, bro, I've heard Dark is, and Hell is Hot. Like, I've seen what somebody can do with just the creativity alone, not just the storytelling, the whole thing, the whole package, man. ATF is a special song. It's storytelling, it's cinematic. I think it's one of his greatest songs of all time. Uh, yeah. Another one of those. This is for This is out to my nigga Q. Rest in peace. The drama, the guns, the armor, the city, the boss, the jealousy, the envy, the phony, the friendly. Uh, da -da. Da -da, da -da. Yo, that energy on that song is so crazy. If you don't, if you don't know what that was, that's Who We Be off the Great Depression album produced by Black Key. You feel me? I don't know, man. Uh, that that hook, that hook. I don't even know who was singing. I should have looked on the credits, but that hook is so captivating. And then the way you know, what I'm saying the MX just bring that ag aggression out while he's rapping over the beat. You feel me? That's a song I've always went back to. Uh, Every year, I didn't find myself throwing the head. And it's a great workout song, you feel me? Um, when you hit, hit the gym or you're going jogging and you're just trying to, you know what I'm saying, max out, yo, trust me, throw who we be on, <laughs> you, you're going to go. For real, man, that got to be one of the greatest songs from DMX of all time. I've been through mad different faces, like Macy's, to find my way. Make a father leave his first kid at seven, doing my first bid. It's something I did to make a father leave his first kid at seven, doing my first bid. Back on the streets at 14, like, DMX is just one of the realest, you feel me? Like, you know what I'm saying? This is one of them songs that I've personally played going through, you know what I'm saying, rough times, dark times, you feel me? Throwing that slipping, you feel me? And just remember, you feel me? You got to get back up. Tear it up, you feel me? You can't, you can't stay down there. You know what I'm saying? That's why I love slipping. Another song I always find myself coming back to. It's off of Flesh of My Flesh, Blood of My Blood album, and it's produced by DJ Shock. Yo, when he was making that beat, he probably didn't even know that's gonna be that big of a song, but it, it really is, man. It's one of the greatest DMX songs of all time. Something new. Yo, ain't nobody gonna make a list without putting that song on there. You already knew it was coming. You feel me, Rough Rider Anthem? Anthem, of course, Alpha is Dark and Hell is Hot, um, produced by Swiss Beats. Uh, when it dropped, I remember thinking, like, this don't sound like nothing else out. You feel me? It was a truly distinct sound. You feel me? And then the music video was just crazy. You was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Who is these Rough Rider niggas? Like, who the hell? What the? Like, it was like a shock. Like, it was so aggressive. It's in your face. 
and they was deep, and it just drew you in. You feel me? Like, I think everybody turned into a DMX fan. Like, man, if you wasn't around, you don't realize how big DMX was when it, when he came out. Like, the, the movement was huge, bro. Like, everybody turned into a DMX fan. It was just crazy. And this song kind of kicked it off, you feel me? Number three, one of the greatest songs of all time. Yo, that's been one of my favorite DMX songs since I don't even know what year did this come out. I don't even know, but a de two decades. This has been one of my favorite DMX songs of all time. It's it's the it's the it's the flow. You feel me? How he he raps in a little higher register on one part. And then after four bars, he goes back down to the deep register of his voice. Then he comes back up to the higher register a little bit. Then he go back deep. You feel me? Y'all been eating long enough. Stop being greedy. Like people relate to that. You know what I'm saying? Like every every black man in a certain environment been looking like, man, I see them dudes over there. You feel me? Like I gotta get to it. You know what I'm saying? But you be having that thought in your head, like I might take your. Sh but hey, it's just real shit, man. <laughs> I promise, man. I love DMX music, man. Go hard. Is it just the one? No time. You hear me? You what? Girl trying to get me to know. Let me get that number. I get up, alright? Hit you on the track. Get on. See what's up. Man, the point is, can he throw his hands? Started flexing. Fuck. Go for hell. Forget that. You hit that. We being played. How's it doing that? Yo, I don't know what it is about that track, man. But it's like my number one favorite DMX song. Maybe it's the storytelling. Maybe the fact that I'm a person, I say it all the time on this channel, I love a beat with samples. Uh, maybe because I relate to it a little bit, you feel me? Like, yo, some of us been there, some of us haven't. But it's one of those things, man. It's um, it's just a great, great record. You feel me? Like, um, it's no denying it. That's my 10 greatest DMX songs of all time, man. It was so fun going back down memory lane, hearing these songs again. But yeah, man, I just want to... Give a, a personal salute to DMX, man. One of the uh, one of the legends of hip hop, man. One of the greatest artists the world has ever seen. You feel me? Condolences to his his kids, his uh, baby mamas, man. Um, but I just want to shout out DMX one last one last time uh, as a hip hop head, as a music um, hip hop rap lover, everything. Yo, DMX meant a lot to me, so I had to do this. Rest in peace, DMX.